Hi there. If the perimeter of a circle and a square are equal, then what is the ratio of the area of the circle to that of the square? That's what we're going to go over today. Let's start off, since we know that the perimeter of the circle, by which we mean its circumference, is equal to the perimeter of the square, let's write what those things are. So we'll say C, the circumference of the circle, what is that? You might recall that is 2 pi times r, where r is the radius, the distance from the center of the circle to the circle. And then we'll also write that p, the perimeter of the square, is 4s. That's 4 times the side length. And then, of course, in this problem, the circumference of the circle equals the perimeter of the square. And we need to use this information to find the ratio of their areas. The ratio of their areas is just found by dividing their areas. That's what is meant by ratio. So to find this, we'll take the area of the circle, which I'll denote AC, and divide it by the area of the square, denoted AS. So to begin, let's just write out what the area of the circle is and what the area of the square is. The area of the circle, you might remember the area formula for circles, it's pi times the radius squared. The area for the square, I'm sure you know that one, is just s squared, where s of course is the side length of the square. Now in order to actually simplify this to something that we can evaluate, we'll need to relate r and s using this equality, that the circumference of the circle equals the square's perimeter. So taking this equation, c equals p, we can replace the circumference and the perimeter with their values. So I can say the circumference, well that's 2 pi r, and that equals the square's perimeter, which is 4s. Then we could solve this for r, or we could solve it for s and then do a substitution over in this fraction. Either one will be fine, but I'm going to solve for s because that's just going to require one step. To solve for s, we'll divide both sides of this equation by 4. That's going to leave us with s equals 2 pi r over 4, and that simplifies to pi r divided by Two. Now we can take this and put it in place for s in this ratio. That way we'll have a ratio entirely in terms of r, which can then be simplified. So in the numerator we still have pi r squared. In the denominator we have s squared, but s is being replaced with pi r divided by 2, and of course, that's getting squared. All right, so what is this equal to? Well, in the numerator, we've still got pi r squared. Now let's actually do the squaring here in the denominator. When we square the numerator, that becomes pi squared r squared, and we also have to square the denominator, and so that's going to become divide by 4. Now, we can of course do some nice simplification. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So instead of having pi r squared divided by this fraction, let's write this as pi r squared multiplied by this fraction's reciprocal. So we're multiplying by reciprocal just means flip the fraction. So we're multiplying by four over pi squared r squared. And now we're just about done, so I'll write this final answer in red. The r squareds are going to cancel out because we've got an r squared up here and an r squared in the denominator. And a factor of pi is going to cancel out. We've got a pi up here, we've got two factors of pi in the denominator. So we can cancel out one of those. It's still going to leave us one factor of pi in the denominator. And then in the numerator, we're just left with four. And that is our answer. 
So if the circumference of a circle is equal to the perimeter of a square, then the ratio of the circle's area to the square's area is 4 to pi. And that is about 1.27, which means the circle's area would be about 1.27 times that of the square. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I've heard it before, it's such a bore I sure can take much more